All right. I showed this uh, 79 Serac looks like in a previous video. A friend of mine's going to take a quick look at it today. Uh, guess what? The issue is the old goose steering column. <laughs> this apparently is the lower bearing. It's a common issue on these, I'm told. Um, he also said the gas gauge and temp gauge aren't working. I just grounded both senders and they went to full. This thing's a beauty though, I mean, it's just a rough California interior. But, uh, you throw a carpet in it, some seat covers, new carpet. As I said, carpet. This used to have vinyl. This car is solid mechanically. It's, the headliner is good. This wheel, this wheel alone is like a $300 wheel. These people love these. But I'm just gonna take this column out and bring it on the workbench. Do that right now. That is one easy column to take out. So here's what we got. There's a needle bearing here. Focus. Needle bearing's up here. But the actual race is down in there. Why it fell and why somebody has duct tape here. Apparently, yeah, someone said that the, I thought it was this piece that failed, I don't know. It's just a plastic cage and it fails. And there's something about a pipe, putting a PVC pipe to replace, <laughs> replace the damage. Saw a video somewhere, somebody filed something down. I don't know, gotta make something just to get that to stay where it's supposed to. Uh, but I think I need to take the wheel off. I'm gonna go put this in the vise. First things first, take a scribe and scribe all one, two, three, four, five, everything. Make get that steering wheel straight. That's steering column work 101. <laughs> then you take your steering wheel nut off. Okay, so we hit steering wheel nut, washer, steering wheel, three flat heads. All this will come off. And hey, this looks familiar. Didn't I just do one of these on another car? <clears throat> is this the same style? This is pressed on. Interesting. I'm just going to unscrew this and see. <clears throat> I just want to get my shaft <clears throat> up or out or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me take my Allen out there, see what I can an angle here. Do I have to pull that off like the old? This one's a little different. It's got some notches in there. <clears throat> like what a tool could grab. This doesn't have the uh, the other one you, I got behind this with a wrench, if you guys remember. And, well, let's see if that moves anything if I do just do the Allen. Okay, yeah. So that's just by doing the Allen. You can see the whole shaft's coming up. And there's our race, some more duct tape. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, the guys are having a problem with the shaft collapsing up into the housing. Probably because uh, if you force the wheel off, you separate stuff. So this is... Um, hmm, not an accident. That could have been. I doubt it, though. It's probably just old. and So i got to get that race which is worn focus on that <clears throat> i'm gonna get it back down to where it sits on the bearing and alleviate this duct tape situation so that's where it needs to sit this is that other piece of duct tape that was up here but it looks like it probably was here and this slid up forced up there's just plastic in there so, you know what would alleviate this is a tack weld. You put a, I gotta put a little, um, put a little sleeve there. Tack weld. And probably the same on this side, keep it from going down. I don't know what they, what would it originally have had? So there is the bearing. Uh, 
what would keep that from... I guess this is supposed to be a tighter fit. It looks like it's either heated or just worn. It's not as bad as when I scrape away the grease. There's no... Even with the... I took my glove off. You can't feel anything there. So... Even a hose clamp would have been better than duct tape. But hey, I got the welder. Maybe a tack weld. Bzz, 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 bzz. Maybe four? Yeah, I went ahead and cleaned this up, took the bearing off. And another important step is your investigation. Look at there are two lines on either side. That would tell me that something was holding this in place that related to those. And there's two marks here that are. That's like harder plastic. I don't think that's the duct tape. Could be, maybe it was just scrunched in there. I made a scribe where the bearing has to sit. So I need something a little, maybe even some more thin piece of plastic. You know, this trash I use all the time. Maybe something a little thicker than this plastic, you know, to make a nice tight seal there. I noticed even putting it on the opposite way it was on, it even fits a little tighter. Like I can really get a force that. Um, but yeah, maybe just a shim of plastic to hold this in place. Before I tack weld, what do you think? There's no videos on this. Put in 79 Scirocco, nothing from YouTube. Even it's hard to find forum information. I guess I could go to a forum directly, but Google not so much. But uh, tinker with this a little bit. All right, I tried just for shits and giggles, just a corner of this plastic, and pressed it on there with a socket. Um, and it was, yeah, I had to pound it on there. It was tight. So it took up that gap, just that little tolerance. Um, but keep in mind, when you're pounding this, this shaft is separate. When you saw that sleeve, it, that band started to shorten. So you're going to make sure you hold both ends properly so that you keep this sleeve with that much. Let me put it down there, sorry. This much sticking out for the steering wheel. Just holds the bearing in place. So that bearing is nice and snug there. Snug here. My mark is that I made where the bearing should be at the end of the bearing. And it's a big, it was a wide sleeve, so I had some play, some uh, something to work with, I'll say. And yeah, and there's a little bit of adjustment here if you need to. Believe it or not, I think that's the idea behind that. So I guess that puts the bearing. Yeah, I'll bolt it in the car. See if it's gonna work. I think it should.